Now, in the next part, we're told that D is the midpoint of AC, so I've now marked on 3.5 centimetres, and a line joins D to the point B, and you've got your region here, R, and we've got to find the perimeter of the region R, that's the distance all the way around the outside. So how are we going to do this? Well, we already have the arc length that uh, we worked out in part A, so we've just got to get this length because we know this one's 3.5. So to get this length BD, what I've got to do is consider this triangle. And I've got two sides and an included angle. And that means that I can use the cosine rule. So what is the cosine rule? Just a quick reminder. Remember, if you've got a triangle, let's say we've got a triangle like this, and this is angle A, this is B, and this is C. This is little b this is little c and this is little a, then if you know this angle here, a squared always equals b squared plus c squared, the sum of the squares of the other two sides then, minus twice the product of these two sides times the cosine of the angle opposite the side you want to find, cos a. So I'm going to use that then, the cosine rule, to get bd. So doing that then, we have BD squared equals sum of squares of the other two sides, so that's 7 squared plus 3.5 squared, minus twice the product of these two sides, so that's 2, times 7, times 3.5, and then times the cosine of the included angle here. 0 0.8. 0 0.8 radians, okay, and you could use a little c there to denote radians. If you work that sum out on your calculator, and you must remember now, because you're taking the cosine of an angle in radians, you must be in radians mode, okay, so check your calculator first for that. Working this out then comes out as 27.111 three seven one and so on. Then to get B D you need to square root this answer. And if you square root that you get five point two zero six eight five eight and so on. So therefore the perimeter okay of R Make sure you have an introduction there. Perimeter of R is going to be the length of the arc, which was the answer we found in part A. That's going to be 5.6 centimetres. We have DC, that's 3.5. And we have the length of BD. Don't round this up, so we just got 5.206858 and so on. And when you work that out, it comes to 14.3068 and so on. And we were asked to give the answer to three significant figures. And if you give that to three significant figures, you find you've got 14.3 centimetres to 3 SF. And that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.